Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Guys. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. And with the upcoming Spider-Man 3 movie beginning its production now, there's a ton of fan speculation as to what scope and scale this upcoming movie could potentially have. There's been rumors being reported for quite some time that we may be seeing the return of actors like Tobey Maguire and possibly even Andrew Garfield to introduce fans to some sort of live action Spider-Verse movie and while we don't have any full details on what's going on with those leads we had a while back just yet, there's still a really interesting thing now that we can do where we can look back at all of these actors and see how they really started when they first were casted in their specific roles for the universes that they existed in. Any more bright ideas? I got a few. Yeah. Just let me go. Is that a knife? Is that a real okay. knife? Yes, it's a real knife. My weakness. It's small knives. Just let me go. Anything but a knife! Oh, it's so simple. That was cool. What the hell is this? Webbing that I developed myself. I don't think you really want to know Come right on, now. let me go! So today we wanted to take a look comparing the auditions of Tobey Maguire to Andrew Garfield to Tom Holland. Let's go ahead and jump into it. And real quick, we wanted to give a huge shout out to our Instagram page. If you guys didn't know, we just passed over 8,000 followers over on Instagram. So we'd really appreciate if you guys headed over to our Instagram, scroll through some of our posts, maybe hit the like button and followed us over there. We do a lot of really interesting content. If you love comic books, the MCU, DCEU, whatever it is, if you just like movies, it's a really cool page. We've been working really hard on it and it would mean the world to us if you went over and checked it out as well. Now, all the way back in the late 90s into the early 2000s, there was a lot of different talks about starting a live action Spider-Man movie. There was a ton of different directors and producers involved and signed on and changed over the course of the development period. But finally, when things were greenlit and production finally began, Sam Raimi jumped on board with Peter Parker played by Tobey Maguire as the casting selection and honestly so many people really did love Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man in those first three Spider-Man movies. Especially a lot of people who thought the second Spider-Man movie was possibly the best of the trilogy and possibly even arguably one of the best Spider-Man films ever made. But it's really interesting to take a look back at some of the casting auditions and screen tests that they first did with Tobey Maguire to see if they thought he'd actually be a good fit for the role of Peter Parker. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. Yes! Now show me your uh, profile. Let's see uh, left jab. What's also really interesting looking back at this stuff is that while Tobey Maguire likely would have stayed on for more Spider-Man films in the future had Sony decided to go that route, instead we saw a pretty massive turn of events. But when we finally do get to look back to these pre-production things that were filmed all the way back in the day, it's cool to see some of the other screen tests from the other actors that were involved in the movie as well. The 
fast forward to 2010, 2011, while there was still some level of talks about possibly continuing on with the Tobey Maguire and Sam Raimi Spider-Man universe, it seemed like with just delay after delay, Finally, Sony decided to go ahead and just reboot the series, this time with director Mark Webb, who in turn ended up making The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which released in 2012 and 2014. And of course, there were also released footage of the screen tests that were done for Andrew Garfield all the way back in the day. And you can kind of see maybe why they decided that they wanted to cast Andrew Garfield as this character, as they thought that he may be the right fit for a Peter Parker. I had to fight a lizard today, but it was not an ordinary lizard. And then what's really interesting is after the Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out and it really didn't have the best reception overall, it seemed like Sony was willing to be more open to conversations with the rest of Marvel and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And somehow this crazy deal that no one thought would ever happen ended up happening, which in turn brought Tom Holland as Spider-Man into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but would also get his own standalone movies in the MCU. And that's one of the things we're waiting for for this third film to kind of see the continuation of not only this character, but possibly we might see these other universes start to collide together. Nonetheless, it is also really interesting that in regards to Tom Holland's Spider-Man character, this was the first Spider-Man to kind of be introduced in a movie form in this massive way that wasn't even a Spider-Man movie to begin with. And they kind of jumped over a lot of the origin story beats that the other two Spider-Man movies did and kind of had them play out over a longer course and used different types of characters to portray the different themes that are integral to Spider-Man's core. But it's really fun to look at the various auditions that Tom Holland had to go through for this role. We've heard him talk about it in interviews. We've also seen him do different screen tests along the way. And it's really awesome to take a look at Tom Holland when he first was trying to get this role. I, I can only imagine what it is you're going through. Anytime you're going to cast a role as big as Spider-Man, there's a huge search involved. And Seraphine and her team looked at 7,500 tapes. And it, it was crazy. It was a pretty daunting process. I went through a phase of just doing self-tapes after self-tapes after self-tapes. I guess if you could do what I can do, maybe, maybe you have a responsibility and do some good with it. Yes. There was just something about Tom Holland's performance that was just so energetic. Now, it sounds like once they finally agreed on Tom Holland, they felt like he was the right fit for this character. There was a lot of really funny moments and maybe some starstruck moments that Tom Holland had along the way dealing with jumping into this role. But it is really interesting to see nonetheless. It was all these screen tests and I got to meet Tom while he was in the final run in there. Yeah, I don't want to joke again. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Now, we also know that for the future of the Spider-Man universe, Tom Holland is going to be signed on for the foreseeable future in various other projects along the way. There were talks that most likely we would see Tom Holland appear in another MCU movie or two until they have to renew contracts again and sign him on for more movies, which will hopefully and inevitably happen. So we are really curious to see what they end up doing with the MCU in a much larger scale, how these actors kind of talk about each other and feel about each other, or just when a paparazzi runs up on someone and asks about the other Spider-Man, how they kind of interact. It's been really interesting to see. It's also cool to see when some of the actors speak really highly about each other along the way. And it's going to be really interesting also to see how these actors all kind of portray together. We've heard in various interviews along the way. All right, so what do you guys think of Spider-Man 3? And who do you think had the best audition out of the three actors? And who's your favorite Spider-Man? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this uploaded every single single day of the week. But otherwise, that's it for today, and we'll see you all next time with a brand new video. It's been delivered a package. That package is an iPad. And on that iPad is a script. And that script is Spider-Man 3. So I'm about to find out what I'm going to be doing for the next five months. I'm not going to tell you anything about it, because I've learned my lesson. This iPad. Um, okay, I'm going to read this now, and I can't wait. I'll speak to you soon. Yes. Yes.
I'm about, about to. to. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hi. 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 <laughs> Mm -hmm. See you guys.